with just some classic scissor of a thumb down. If um, this doesn't make any sense really to try, you know, when somebody has hair this long, we do this in the salon all the time, where we have a short, uh, what we call a short layer hair pattern, and we, we're trying to get people to test out on it. And then somebody comes in and they want their hair this short. You know, this is a scissor of, I mean, this is a scissor over comb length. That as soon as you try to hold this in your fingers, you let the bottom guide line drop out, right? It falls out because it's so short. And then you cut this part, and the guide line is a little bit longer on the top, and then it falls over the part that you've let go of. It looks like a step. So that's how you get those little jiggle jaggles in here, and that's when it's not pretty. So you sort of have to know your, what you, you just have to, to know the limitations of the technique that you're working on. And when the hair gets really short, it's just a waste of time to put the jiggle jaggle in and then have to use scissor over comb to get it out. You just might as well just use scissor over comb to start with. So um, I think that's the best thing. And I think on her, what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to keep her neckline as erratic as I can. I'll actually cut some holes into it so that it's not quite so clean and neat. And then I'm planning, because now I have control over her hair again, then I plan out what the second haircut's gonna look like, third haircut, where is it gonna grow, where is it not gonna grow. And that's what you always have to be doing with people is think about not just today's haircut, but where is it going? Where am I taking this? And then it's not my personal secret, it's I share with her where her hair's going, why? Yeah, so she participates with me, so it's for her. You know, it's not for me, it's for her. So I have a plan for her. Everyone wants to feel like you're giving them some brain power. You know, this is a job that takes a lot. I it takes a lot of brain power. I think really hard all day long. You gotta really think about where are people going, get excited about it. And when you get people excited about where their hair's going, you don't have to worry about whether I'm gonna see her again. She's with me. We got a plan. We have bones in place. Uh, when you're doing scissor over comb. The best way is to do it in panels that go straight up. Rather than trying to do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then pick it up again a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Does that make sense to people? It's better to get it nice and clean all the way up. And then you move over a little bit nice and clean all the way up. And if you get into that habit, you'll have a much easier time with scissor over comb. Because scissor over comb in itself, is as hard or harder than any other cutting technique. It's hard. How many people think it's hard already? Okay. Because you're not going to make some ugly messes probably already. But, you know, I hope. Uh, unless, and you need to. You need to get in there and do it. Do it on your mannequin. You know, because they're really fun to make ugly. <laughs> it's less fun to do that to real people. So, what's the best way of just releasing some of this hair so that um, I get this edge to break up a little bit. Well, it's just taking this bulk out. So the closer I can get some of this without cutting it, like taking the length off, the more I'll release it so that it has a little bit more of a, of a fringy edge. And that's what I like to see with her. And then when, it, when I don't get as much fringy edge, because I won't, because her hair's there's not that much there. I'm just going to cut into it and make it. I'll just make it. And it'll look really cute.
just really start, start up, just a little teeny, I'll just see little flicks of hair come off. Because you can go over it 20,000 times, but you can't put it back on. So just get used to that. If Helene had come in today with my leg, would you have pre-cut to get it to that line? Yeah, okay. I would have. Okay. I would have done a real quick little layer on her. So you really have to get, so I'm focusing on this part of my shear, and you really have to get your eyes to connect the shear, the hair, and the comb. So that I'm not, because it's easy to get distracted by like the comb. I'm sorry, like the comb. So you're like watching the comb. Well, you have to watch the hair. Watch the hair as it's coming through the comb and where it hits my shear so that I'm really concentrated. It's not an accident what I cut off. So that I really can see, e -e -e, that's the part I want to cut off, right? And like I said, this is a really good thing to practice on on the hands. Once you get them into this short. they want to buy. 